when the function is in the form of f divided by g and we have to integrate uh, this function first we have to check we have to check that uh, the function is in the simplest form first we have to uh, simplify the function which is in the form of f divided by g for example in this case the function is in the form of uh, x raised to the power 2 minus 4 whole divided by x minus 2 this is the function is in the form of f of x divided by g of x and uh, simplify this function uh, this the factor of x square minus 4 is uh, x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 is a whole divided by x minus 2 x minus 2 cancel x minus 2 with x minus 2 the result is equal to x plus 2 so in this case when the function is in the simplest form we can integrate this function that is the integral integration of x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 dx is impossible in this case which uh, fail to hold all the rules of integration in this case uh, the reason that uh, the function is in is not in the simplest form first we have to convert the function into its original form which is equal to x plus uh, 2 in this case uh, the equivalent function of this function is x plus 2 and now we can integrate uh, x plus 2 in this case and, uh, uh, and another example that is when uh, in the same example the the function uh, is in the form of f divided by g such that uh, the in the uh, the in the numerator the this this is a polynomial of degree two and in the denominator this is a polynomial of degree one. Now the polynomial of degree two can be divided by the polynomial of degree one, which is x square minus 2x in this case minus plus cancel these two terms 2x minus 4 but my, uh, uh, multiply the this quantity x minus 2 by plus 2 which is equal to 2x minus 4 which is equal to 0 so when we divide the x square minus 4 by by x minus 2 we get x plus 2 the same result so uh, in uh, 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 that is uh, in the numerator there, there is a polynomial of degree 2 and in the denominator there is a polynomial of degree 1 the polynomial of degree 2 can be divided by the polynomial of degree uh, uh, by the polynomial of degree 1 or another example that is we can also if we can rearrange the function that is if, when the function is in the form of x square minus 4 and we have to integrate this function so this is a polynomial of degree 1 and this is a polynomial of degree 2 now we cannot divide the polynomial of degree 1 by the polynomial of degree 2 that is this is a polynomial of degree 1 this is a polynomial of degree 2 we cannot divide the polynomial of degree 1 by polynomial of degree 2 but we we can factorize the function is in which is in the form of v which is in the denominator and cancel these two terms we get 1 divided by x plus 2 now this function is equivalent function to x minus 2 divided by x square minus 4 and this function is in the simplest form now the integration of this function is possible now we can integrate this by applying the rules of integration to the numerator which is equal to f of x returning to this condition therefore this is the counter example which uh, which we draw from the derivative of logarithmic function that is when the function is uh, y, y is equal to log of x the derivative of this function is equal to 1 over x in this case so this is another counter example that is uh, according to this condition the, the integration of this function is equal to log of d numerator plus c now to, uh, if this condition is fair to hold then we have to check that uh, the function which is in the form of f divided by g is uh, the derivative of inverse trigonometric or inverse hyperbolic function Suppose uh, the function uh, uh, we have to integrate 1 divided by 1 plus x square with respect to x. So first, the function is in the simplest form. The first condition is also already satisfied. And we have to apply the second condition that is the derivative of 1 plus x square is uh, equal to 2x. 
derivative of x one is equal to equal to two x, which is uh, not equal to one. That is, uh, th there is a variable x in this case. So the second condition is that for Now we have to check that uh, the third. We have to, to apply. We have to check the third condition that is the function one divided by one plus x is the uh, is the reason of inverse trigonometric or the inverse hyperbolic function or not. That is uh, the function one divided by one plus x is the derivative of tangent inverse of x. So this function we can calculate this function from the derivative of tangent inverse of x dx. So the integration of this function is cancel dx with dx. The total integration cancel the integration process, which is equal to tangent inverse of x divided by the derivative of the variable plus c. Now, if this condition is also fair to hold uh, for on the uh, function f which is in the form of f divided by g, then we have to apply the partial pressure method for, on uh, the function f divided by g to convert uh, the given function into its original function. That uh, that function will be uh, the function f of x divided by g of x. In this case, will be the sum or difference of two or more than two function and we have to convert this function in to its original function now uh, for example that is uh, the function is uh, in this case the function is uh, 1 divided by 1 minus x square and we have to integrate this function so all the the function is in the same form the first condition is already satisfied and all the three conditions are fair to hold in this case now the uh, uh, we apply the first structure method for uh, the function which is in the form of f divided by g that is we the fact uh, we can factorize 1 minus x square so the partial pressure method is simplicable in this case. After this simplification uh, of uh, this function to change the function into its original function by the method of partial pressure method, in this case, 1 divided by 1 minus x square is equal to 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 minus x plus 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 plus x. That is, this function is actually the sum of these two functions. So, convert this function into its original function and the integration of this function is equal to the integration of these two functions. And in this case, the second formula in this case is given on these two terms. We can integrate these, the, the result of these two functions. So, in this case, that is 1 divided by 1 minus x square is not the original function. The original function are uh, these two functions which we can calculate by applying the partial pressure method that is the back process for the calculation of the original function that is the, the sum of these two functions is equal to the given function.